Could Simbris's plan an act of fraud, lawyer tells Court Herald, top stories, could Simbris committed an act of fraud by using a fraudulent plan to build a showroom in Borrowdale Hitch was then demolished at the instigation of the city of Harare, the court heard today. This was revealed in the matter in which Zbenyuka Chawatama, Mandla Marlon Debel, Samuel Nyabezi, Lastan Tan Esby and Pakigara Properties former managing director Michael Van Blurk, who are being represented by Charles Quaramba and advocate Tawanda Zuarara are facing malicious damage to property charges. During cross-examination Mr. Quaramba said there was nothing before the court which shows that the plan which was used by Katsimbris was not endorsed by the city of Harare. Mr. Quaramba told Katsimbris that Pakigara Properties has a case against him in which he is accused of fraud and he admitted. He also put it to Katsimbris that Mr. Roy Nyabdur who fraudulently signed his plan was dismissed from city of Harare due to fraudulent activities. The matter was deferred to September 19 for continuation by Harare Magistrate Mrs. Faresi Chakanyuka. The city bosses on Monday told the court that Katsimbris built the showroom without an approved plan therefore its demolition was lawful. They also insisted that they had lawful and legal authority to instruct the demolition. George Katsimbris claimed that the accused persons destroyed a model house he built in Borrowdale after signing a joint venture agreement with Pakigara Properties to build cluster houses. The city of Harare had argued that the building was built without an approved plan and also the material used were not recommended by the local authority. Katsimbris, however said he obtained the permit and approved plans from the city of Harare on behalf of Pakigara Properties despite the local authority denying the existence of the permit. During cross-examination by advocate Juarara, Katsimbris admitted that the High Court and the Supreme Court dealt with the matter where it was dismissed. Would you like to advise this court that you filed an urgent chamber application in relation to this issue and Justice Musenda made a ruling that the structure was illegal saying City of Harare could lawfully order its destruction? Advocate Juarara asked. Katsimbris denied saying the High Court did not issue that order. Katsimbris was told by Advocate Juarara that the Justice Musenda judgment dated October 15, 2018 was existing. Katsimbris then admitted to the existence of that judgment, but said it was given without consideration of some facts he submitted. Juarara asked Katsimbris if he remembers the judge calling his structure illegal but he denied. The court heard that Justice Musenda dismissed Katsimbris' application to stop the demolition of his showroom, and he appealed the decision at the Supreme Court where it was again dismissed. You were aggrieved by Justice Musenda's findings regarding to the legality of the structure that was demolished? Advocate Juarara asked, to which Katsimberi replied yes. Advocate Juarara further asked, is it correct? that you approached the Supreme Court asking to set aside the whole determination by Justice Musenda Musenda? Correct, Katsimbris answered. Advocate Juarara told Katsimbris that his appeal to the Supreme Court was dismissed in favor of the city of Harare which had issued the demolition order. But Katsimbris said it was dismissed as a matter of urgency not merits. Katsimbris said the city of Harare offered a suggestion that the house could be demolished saying it was not an order.